Alright, thanks so much for joining. So today I'm going to show you how to make these circular printable tags using nothing but Microsoft Word and a browser. So the first thing I did um, was I actually went to page layout and I changed the orientation to landscape as I wanted to fit more across the side and I changed the margins to 0.5 narrow and that's just to give myself more real estate. Alright, so now let's go ahead and first start and create this tag. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do an insert shape and I'm going to insert a circle and I'm just going to go ahead and click on there. Now I want to ensure that this shape is actually selected um, as I see sort of this square around it. Um, you know this shape is selected and then you want to click on format and then from here I'm going to go ahead and make this three inches by three inches. I actually have a three inch hole punch um, that I use quite often, so almost all of my tags are three inches. But again, depending on the size punch you have, you might want to change that to two and a half or two. Okay? Uh, so the next thing I want to do is I want to have this chevron print in the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to type in purple and white chevron. And I'm going to click on images. And from here, this is the exact color purple that I want. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to save picture as. And let's go ahead and call this purple chef. Okay. Now let's go ahead and minimize this. And we want to again ensure this is clicked on format and we want to do a shape fill of picture. And then from here, we're going to do our purple chef. Now, as you can see here, I have this ruler on the bottom, which I clearly don't want. So I'm going to ensure that this shape again is selected and I'm going to click on picture tools and I'm going to click on format for that picture tools okay not the drawing tools because that's the circle but the picture tools for the actual chevron print picture and I'm going to click on crop and then I'm going to go down to this image and I'm going to move that little bottom square up and I'm going to then crop that now I want to click on this image again and I want to click on format and I want to make this three inches by three inches and now we have our purple chevron prints Okay. Now I want to go up to my drawing tools to have the circle and I want to do a shape outline of this gray outline. Okay. Now I want to create this sort of center area. So I'm going to insert a shape and I'm going to insert a rectangle. And I'm going to draw my rectangle right there. And you can make this a little bigger or smaller and move this around. And from here, I want to go ahead and do a format, and I want to do a shape fill of this gray color. And I want to do a shape outline of that same gray color. Okay. Now I want to insert a shape, and I want to insert a line, because I'm going to insert these lines from above. And I'm going to hold down the Shift key and insert a line. I then want to format, I want to do a shape outline of white, obviously, so I can see this line. And then I want to click on dashes and I want to click on more lines. Now this format shape is going to come over on your left hand side of the screen. This is actually a 6.75 width and we can see that the width here changed and the compound type is thick thin and we can have that thick thin. And now that the shape is selected and you can see the two little squares on the ends, I can move the arrow keys up. Oh, sorry, that was selected for width. We want the 6.75. <laughs> and what we want to do is click on the um, uh, shape and ensure that those two um, squares are showing. And we can use our arrow keys on our mouse to click up. Okay, now we can click on this shape, we can right click and click copy, we can right click and click paste. Okay. Now we have our second one, we want to move this down and obviously we want to change this line and we want to click on the compound time to thin thick. Okay. So now we have sort of that circular view. Now we want to insert a text box and we want to draw our text box. And let's just go ahead and draw our text box in here. Okay. Obviously, we want to format this text box and do a shape fill of no fill and a shape outline of no outline. Okay. Now we want to type in thank you, oops, capital U, Janelle and Jamie, nine, and we just want to do space 
10, 16, and we'll add those little circles in in a bit, okay? Now that we have this text, we want to select this text, go up to our home, we want to make the font white, we want to center that, and we want to change the line spacing. When you have multiple lines, especially when you're changing fonts and whatnot, sometimes the spacing will get mixed up. So we want this to be zero point and single space. Okay, we can see that all got moved up. So this thank you is actually Bell MT, which you should have um, on your uh, Windows install. Bell MT, but this Jamie and Janelle is actually called a Baroque script. So we're going to go back up to our browser and go to Google, and we're just going to type Baroque script font. And this is how you download and install fonts. Um, there's a number of, of fonts out there, font websites out there, where you can download for free. And we're going to go ahead and click on download. and we're gonna click on open, okay? Now this is in my compressed folders, so I actually need to extract it because it's in the zip file, and it's gonna go ahead and show extracted files when completed, so it's gonna open up another um, window. Now this is our Baroque script. It's a TTF file, or a true type font, true type font file. From here, we can easily right click and just click install directly from here. I already have it installed, so I wanna replace it. But that's how you install a font very easily. Okay, so from here, I want to now highlight Janelle and Jamie, and that is Baroque script. So let's go down to our Baroque script, and that is actually a 14 size font. Okay, now we want to add these little circles in between the 9, 10, 16. So what we want to do there is we want to insert a symbol, and we're going to go to the 10. And click in here and we're going to insert our symbol okay and let's add a little space in between there and the space in between the nine and we're going to highlight this and the symbol is essentially just another font so we're going to actually make this a six point and we're going to make this a six point okay now finally as you can see here that we don't have um, sort of that that background um, if you use a hole punch, you don't necessarily need to do this next step, um, but I'm going to show you how to do it anyhow if you're using scissors or you know, die cut machine or something like that. So we're going to go ahead and insert a shape and we're going to insert our donut. And we're going to go ahead and click in there and we're going to make this a 3.3 and 3.3. Click in there. And we're going to go ahead and move this right in the center there, and we're going to do a shape fill of white and a shape outline of white. Now, if we click on this donut, you see this little yellow box in the middle? We can actually move that out to essentially go around. our circle, and you might need to play with that a little bit. And we might need to make this 3.4 and 3.4, okay. And if we scoot this over, it's a little bit smaller. And we can essentially see how we can create this. We probably could play with this a little bit more so we can get more of the um, gray border around that, but that's essentially how you can create that type of tag. Now let's go ahead and create the thanks for coming. We're gonna go ahead and insert a shape and we're going to insert a shape and we're gonna go ahead and click on three and we're gonna go ahead and click on three and we're gonna move this up. And what we're gonna do is click on format. We're gonna do a shape fill and I've already showed you how to download that. So I'm just gonna show you how to um, use our one that I've already downloaded. And we're gonna do a shape outline of red and we are going to make the weight of that outline four and a half, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're going to insert a shape and we're gonna insert that middle part. And so we're just gonna insert another circle. And you can kind of make that bigger. And let's go ahead and make this 
2.5 and let's make this 2.5. Okay, and then we want to format this and we want to do a shape fill of white and we want to do a shape outline of a really light gray. Okay, now we want to create this middle circle so we're going to once again insert a shape and we're going to insert a circle and we're going to go ahead and make this a 2.25 and 2.25 and we're going to put this there and we're going to actually format this and do a shape fill of no fill shape outline of red and we're going to make the weight of this uh, two and a fourth and we're going to create dashed lines okay now let's go ahead and insert this sailboat so we're going to insert a picture again I've already showed you how you can download images and when you insert the picture you can see that you can't very easily oops, move this around so when you insert the image let's do insert picture show you how to do this again you're going to click on this little box and click in front of text okay and then from here we can very easily move this down and let's actually click on this circle I don't know why that changed but we're going to do a weight of two and a quarter and we're going to make that dash lines okay uh, so now we can see our sailboat here and um, let's see we can make this even a little bit bigger and we can see this white border is getting in the way right we don't want that so what we can do is click on format picture remove backgrounds and we can highlight our sailboat and we can keep changes okay and now it makes that background blank Okay. We also want to format this picture and we want to change the color and we want to make this and maybe not that. Uh, let's go ahead and make this a little darker and let's go ahead and change the color. There we go. Okay. Uh, now we want to go ahead and insert a text box and we can draw a text box and we want to do a thanks for coming and we want to go home and we want to make this center and this is AR Senna and the size is 18 and what we want to do is click on format this text box and we want to do the text effects and we want to transform this and we want to make this arched up we also want to do a shape fill of no fill for that text box and a shape outline of no outline and then we can move that up and then finally we want to add in this 5 16 16 so we want to insert a text box text box and we want to draw the text box and we can just do 5-16-16 and we want to highlight this, go to home, center this, and this is AR Bonnie and the size of this is 16 and we want to format this text box and do a shape fill of no fill and again a shape outline of no outline. So that's how you can create that sailboat picture. Okay. Now finally, let's go ahead and create this happy birthday. Once again, you want to insert a shape, insert a circle, and we again want to make this three inches by three inches. Okay. And we want to go ahead and, I'm sorry, click on format, do a shape fill of a picture and again I've already showed you how to do this so I'm not going to do it again but we have a background of yellow and um, pink and then from here we can go ahead and do a shape outline now we can't find that color exactly so what we can do is click on here open up paint 
and paint is just a um, application you should have uh, in download when you're a basic install of Windows and we're gonna go ahead and click on the color picker and we're gonna click on that pink okay now if we click on edit colors we can see this pink is exactly the number of 255 by 128 by 255. Okay, so now we can get that exact color pink. So we can go ahead and click on shape outline, more outline colors, and we can do 255, 128, 255, and we can get that exact color pink. Okay. Now, as always, we want to insert a shape, and we're going to insert the circle here. And we're going to go ahead and make this 2.75, 2.75, and actually let's go ahead and make this 2.5, and 2.5, okay. And we can go ahead and do a shape fill of white and do a shape outline of that pink. And then we want to insert our picture and we want to insert our birthday cake. And once again, we want to click on this image and say in front of text. And we want to obviously make this much smaller. And we want to click on format, remove backgrounds. And let's go ahead. cake. Remove that white background. And then we want to go ahead and write in this happy birthday. So we're going to insert a text box and we're going to draw a text box. And we are going to write happy birthday. And we're going to insert a symbol. Okay. And we're going to highlight this text and we're going to go home and we're going to change this text to KG 10,000 reasons and we're going to change this to a yellow font with a black outline okay and we're going to change this font to that new color pink to match okay and we're basically going to copy and press Control C and Control V for paste, or right click and click on paste, right click, 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 and I think actually that's enough. Um, and then from here, we can highlight this, click on format, click on effects, transform, and we want to transform. And obviously we have some spacing issues here. There we go. And there is our happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. And if I wanted to make this bigger, I could just remove one of the happy birthdays. And I can Highlight this, do a format, do a shape fill of no fill, obviously, and a shape outline of no outline. Okay, and let's, and we can click on, sorry, let's move this out of the way. Okay, make this text box bigger. And that's it. And again, we can add, I guess I did need to add another happy birthday in there. And there we go. That's how you create that tag. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please like um, the video on YouTube. And I do have a number of other videos which shows you how to do a number of other things. So um, please feel free to watch my whole channel. Thanks so much.